Yeah, it definitely has a, that briskety flavor to it, especially, you know, the pepper. I might have to do poor man's brisket again sometime. Chuck roast here. It's been dry brining. Got a nice dark red color. Um, yeah, I've got pepper, garlic powder, and garlic, uh, you know, pieces on it. So I've got a chimney going here. Um, got uh, some wood set up there. Try to build a coal bed. Warm, uh, warm my pit up. Also got water pan in here filled with water see how that does for evening out some of the temperatures in this pit all right i'm about ready to put the meat in to the smoker all right right there yep so got a lot of space in this thing that's good Still going there. Close this off. Let's see how our fire's doing. It's doing pretty well. Right, so right there about 250-ish. According to this, 216. So there is a little difference between grate level and this thermometer there. Have to take that into our calculations. Still climbing. So I'm about a little more than three hours into this cook, and I had the fire nearly go out on me um, due to ash buildup down there. I had to work to clear some of it out, um, but I did, and I was able to with uh with the escape right there it's still there a little bit um yeah so um so far going pretty well um yeah take a look at and this here we got our water it's getting a little bit dry up here, you know. We got some. Yeah, get it out of there. Yeah, just. All right. All right. I'll keep at it. down to 200 and it'll bounce back. Right. Got a couple logs in here. There it goes. I think I might at some point cut this grate, make it so that I can lift it up. Oh, the heat's coming out of there. Uh, and that you know, would help me to get those ashes out. Um, or maybe I just need a some sort of stick or poker that I can fit through here. It's one that I got. I like it. Um, but these it won't won't go through there very easily. So we'll see. Next stick lit pretty quick. So I'm happy about that. Assemble, come back up here. Yeah. All right, Tim's climbing again in the chamber. All right, probably take this thing maybe to one, 
165, 170. Yeah, we'll see. We're getting close on the wrap. You can see that, um, that there's some moisture up there. I'm supposing that it's, you know, water that it's exuding. Um, let's take a look here. Alright, so 152 there. Alright, 169, 65. Alright, I'm going to turn this thing around for a second. See if we can get the other side to um, cook to the point of the front side there. So, Alright, I've decided to go ahead and wrap. I think I'm gonna finish it off in the oven uh, just because I got some other things to do besides tendifier today. So, there we go. Mm, smell the peppery smell. Let's see here. I'm just letting the fire run out there. Let's cool off. Now saying 153 on my probe. I got it there, got my water pan, brought it along. And now we'll take it up around 200 and see what we can do. All right, we're almost to 200 degrees there. I am outside. Apparently the oven is for cooking the other food today. So kind of got kicked out. It's okay, I've got my pit boss here. Um, my PID controller to give me a nice constant temperature. So that's more or less doing that. Uh, aiming for around 275 right now. With thermometer says 250. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, let's see what it feels like here. That was good. Yeah. Pretty, uh... Yeah. Definitely very soft. Alright. Inside, not quite as much. I'm gonna leave it in a little bit longer. Alright, let's give this one more go. Uh oh, sprung a leak. Uh. All right, there we go. Letting it cool down a little bit before I wrap it and throw it in here. I think I'll let it get to about 185. Uh, looks good though. All right, so I uh, decided to eat before the soccer game. Um, so it's only rested about an hour. I've never made a uh, chuck roast this way before, so I actually have no idea which way the grain is running, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna cut off this part here. Still juicy. Yeah, yeah, definitely has a that briskety flavor to it, especially you know the pepper, the pepper there. Mm. Yeah, definitely got the smoke ring there. Mm, quite a bit of smoke ring, really. Yeah, I think this is going to be really good. Mmm.
No, yeah, very smoky. It's very good. I might have to do poor man's brisket again sometime. <laughs>